Hey guys, I got a new video for you today and we're going to be taking a look at a new pair of glasses that I recently picked up. Now I want to start off the video by saying that this was completely an impulse buy for me. I actually didn't even know this particular model had been released or I didn't even know anything about the model. Uh, I recently went to my local Oakley store and I was just kind of looking around and I saw these sitting on the shelf and they immediately caught my eye. Uh, primarily because one, they look completely different than what I have been picking up lately. And then two, because they actually look very different than what Oakley has been putting out lately. And I know that that's been a sore spot with a lot of collectors saying that they really wish that Oakley would kind of go back to its roots, you know, um, that what made them a company that everybody really wanted to pick up classes from. They feel like uh, as of late, some of the styles have been very... Uh, very generic and they kind of follow the same formula that if something does good then they'll just bring it out in another color or make it round or make it square or something like that. These look really really different. Now again they were an impulse buy. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how well they look on me or anything like that but I really really liked them and I really liked the color. Like I mentioned when I walked in I saw them on the shelf and they immediately caught my eye. Now there was a little bit of a back and forth between myself and the rep that was helping me at the store as far as what this particular model is called and I'll show you guys in a second what it is but if you guys know anything about them um, what they're called or you know anything about them definitely leave it in the um, comment section below I would love to hear if anybody has some more information on them. Now I know this particular model was released alongside another pair that shares similar traits as far as the frame goes um, and that one has another name so um, let's go ahead and take a look at this one first. So this model is the CMDN that's actually the name of the, of the pair and this particular one is in a new color frame which is translucent celeste and then it's got a prism violet lens. So um, obviously just by the description of the frame and the lens color, you can tell that this is a pretty bright pair and that's exactly what caught my eye. Let's go ahead and take them out of the box and we'll take a look at them. They come in the standard black microfiber bag and here they are. So as you can see, this is a shield lens. So it's one piece lens, has a pretty nice wrap to it. Looks very, very um, athletic, very kind of sport, sporty pair, which is really, really nice. And then that uh, translucent Celeste frame looks really, really awesome. It's like a, a very light jade color almost, which is really, really cool. And it, since it's translucent, it's completely see-through, which is makes it really awesome. So obviously styling wise, this pair has a lot going for it from the stems right here, very aggressive um, kind of swirls and cuts right there. And then they has this insert, this kind of metallic insert right here. And then the icon sits inside of it. Really, really cool. Now I love the fact that they went with this kind of purple icon to match the violet, the prism violet lenses, violet being a purple color. Uh, just because it, I think it ties it in really, really nice. So um, all around, it looks really, really cool. Again, you have the word prism etched into the bottom of the lens there, into the shield lens. Very, very lightweight. Obviously, it is an O-matter frame. And then taking a look at the nose pieces right here, it's actually um, kind of like a, a, a crystal clear nose piece. So that's, that's pretty interesting. It's almost like a separate nose piece. It's not molded into the frame. And then it has this metal piece right here in the middle. Not exactly sure what the metal piece does, but if you guys can see, uh, it has kind of like a little cutout of a pair of glasses in there. Now, if you guys can tell me what that looks like to you, definitely leave it in the comment section below. Let me know what you think that pair looks like because uh, it looks really, really cool. Let's see how close I can get them without disrupting it. There it goes. So I thought that was really awesome. Um, I like those little uh, kind of Easter eggs uh, that sometimes um, certain uh, manufacturers do and they put them in and you can actually see it from the front right there. So really, really awesome pair. Now this is going to be um, on a little bit more of the uh, smaller side, uh, very, very narrow, not too tall. Uh, so that's why I mentioned I'm not exactly sure if these look good on me because I like them or if, or if they just kind of look ridiculous because they're a little bit smaller. Um, I'll turn the camera on, throw them on, and you guys can be the judge of that. 
All right, guys, so I'll go ahead and put these on. Again, this is the CMDN model. Not exactly sure if that's um, an acronym for something. So again, if you guys know anything, please definitely let me know. So I'll throw these on. Again, this is the new frame color, the translucent celeste frame in the prism violet uh, color lenses. So here it is. Uh, you know, as I mentioned, it is a little bit smaller, but I think they look good on me. I mean, I, I like the way they look. They're very comfortable, really nice wrap to them. So if you're gonna be wearing them, they're uh, definitely gonna block the glare coming in from the sides and all around. There is uh, quite a few different colors in this, uh, in this particular model, which was really nice. Um, some of them are very, very vibrant. Some of them are a little bit more muted. So, you know, they have uh, something for everybody. So if you guys like the way this looks, um, you know, I would definitely recommend that you check them out. Now, I can tell you that this is gonna be better suited for somebody with a with a smaller, kind of more narrow face, maybe a longer face like mine. Uh, somebody with a round face or a bigger face, bigger head or something like that, these might look and feel a little bit too small. So just kind of keep that in mind. But again, I really love the way the stylings on the side right here that little metal plate with the icon kind of on top of it looks really really awesome very very comfortable because again it's an old matter frame so it's nice and lightweight and it definitely stays in place um, I could see myself wearing these for a lot of different circumstances you know just all around driving around stuff like that some light sports and stuff like that um, uh, I, I wouldn't um, you know put in past being able to stay in place again no one obtaining them on the nose or on the ears just you know keep that in mind if you want to use them for sports specific activities where you're going to be sweating and stuff like that then you know they might slide a little bit um, from your nose because there is no unobtainium on there but all in all i think they look really really awesome and i think they look really cool kind of sitting on a shelf uh, if you're going to be displaying them as part of a collection or something like that especially with this uh, this new color of the translucent celeste frame and i love the way that they coupled it with that prism violet lens so really really awesome so there it is uh just a quick look at this new model from oakley the cmdn and as i mentioned there was a partner um, release that came out with this one that shares the similar um the stems as this one does i just can't really remember the name so again if you guys know or, or have heard about it you know feel free to let me know below so there it is let me know if you guys have any questions thanks